Hey guys, it's Taryn and today I'm just gonna do a quick laundry motivational video. We've been out of town. I generally am on like a laundry schedule and I like to do laundry twice a week, but because we've been out of town, we have lots of laundry to do today. So I thought, you know what, why not do a motivational laundry video? I'll give you some laundry tips and tricks and things that I do. So come along with me. Okay, so I haven't cleaned my washing machine in a little while. I like to do it every couple of months, maybe every two months, or I do it if it smells. And you'll notice like sometimes I'll just like have just washed some towels and then I'll smell one of the towels and it smells kind of like that musty odor. So then I know it's time to clean the washing machine. So the way I do it, I just do it very simply with vinegar. They don't have this in the product manual, but it is recommended by a lot of washing machine repair people and some you know different sites I've checked. So anyway, I just put vinegar in a little spray bottle and let me show you what I do. Okay, so I essentially just like spray the entire drum with the vinegar, just going around, then there we go. And I let that sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna just take a little cloth and wipe it out. And I just do this like right before the load. This is really like simple, but the vinegar cuts through soap scum. A lot of times people use a lot of like detergent in their washing machine. And so the soap scum kind of builds up in the washing machine and then it gets on your clothing and that's what causes that bad smell on your clothing. So the vinegar just cuts right through that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash our bedding. I try to wash these maybe every other week. I do wash my pillowcases every week at least. Um, I know some people wash them even more frequently. I'll actually, if you guys are interested in a pillowcase, I'll actually link the one I have. It's a copper pillowcase. I've talked about it before. It has like anti-aging properties and I'm pretty obsessed with it. So I mentioned before about soap scum in your laundry and one of the things about detergent is you actually are supposed to use way less detergent than you think. So just wanted to give that little tip. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this vinegar here. I'm adding it to every compartment except for the pre-rinse one. So just kind of the other two. If you have a top loader, you can just put it right into the load and throw that in there. I've also mentioned these hedgehogs. They come in a pack of five and I can link them for you, but they're essentially, they do the same thing as dryer sheets and they kind of aerate your laundry. I find I can dry my laundry quicker. I really like them. And of course, if you've got a front loader like I do, you have to dry out the rubber part. This is just so important. I am kind of crazy about it. I do it after every load and just make sure I get it really dry. So I'm putting all the sheets on on here. I actually have a very important question that I would love to know what you guys do. When you put on your top sheet, do you tuck it in to the bed? I, it, it's so weird, but if it's not tucked in by my feet, I can't sleep. But the funny thing is my husband hates when it is tucked in. So every time he gets into the bed, if it's tucked in, he just pulls it out on his side. I don't know what it is. I just have this thing where I cannot sleep if it's not tucked in. And then he's like completely the opposite. And then not to keep on talking about top sheets, but another weird thing is my kids do not use top sheets. And I've heard this thing about younger generations not liking them and not using them. So my 14 year old doesn't use them. My younger two kids won't use them and they hate them. They just rip them off their bed.
Okay, now I'm doing my second load. So I mentioned I've got three kids. So I've got my older teenage daughter and she generates a ton of laundry. Uh, she does her own laundry sometimes, but you know, I'm gonna be doing hers today. And then I've got my younger two. I've got a 10 year old and a six year old. So I'll also be doing their laundry. Okay, so don't come for me in the comments, but I just have this thing. I do not sort my laundry. I put everything together. I put colors together. I put towels in. My mom hates that I wash my clothing with towels. I just can't, for some reason, bring myself to sort it. I just think it's so much easier and faster to just throw everything in together. And I've never had a problem. I haven't had any clothing run. I, you know, I generally wash my clothes on cold water unless I'm washing like sheets or thing, you know, something that you want to kind of kill germs and things like that. So generally I wash on cold water for most loads, but, but not always. And I just throw everything in together and I've honestly never had a problem. Oh, on the top of my washer there, there's this box. So I got as a gift for my mom, this new cleaning spin brush. And I'm gonna do a video for you guys on you know how it works and how to use it. I wasn't sure what to think about it when I first got it because I've just never really had anything like that. But I actually found it to be really effective and did a really great job cleaning a few areas that I just wasn't expecting so anyway look out for a future video on that that'll be coming soon my husband had just told me that i should have the kids do the laundry and fold it he didn't realize I was filming. And generally we do have the kids do a lot of this because, you know, if they're sitting around watching TV, it's a great activity for them to fold the laundry and they're learning how to fold. Uh, but of course I wanted to make this video for you guys. So I'm folding it today. So I'd love to hear uh, your laundry schedule and how often you guys do laundry. I like to do laundry twice a week. We generally do it on Wednesdays and then again on Saturdays. I feel like that's just the easiest way for me to stay on top of it because I used to just wait until the weekends to do the laundry and it was just this mountain of laundry and you know, people would kind of run out of clothing. So I just think it's a lot easier to kind of split it up into two days during the week. The other thing is we work from home. So a lot of times I will just like Wednesday morning, for example, I'll just take a load and I'll put it into the washing machine before I start work. And then when it's done at some point during the day, I'll move it to the dryer. And then after work, maybe we'll fold it. You know, we try to get it folded right away so that we don't have just piles of clothing everywhere. Um, but that's just like an easy schedule for me. I'm putting all of my dish towels away here. It looks like I have a ton of dish towels, but we generally have like two out in the kitchen and then I just replace them every day. They're just kind of hanging here and I find that that's the easiest thing to do. Okay, and here's my next load of laundry. This was the next day. Uh, you know, we couldn't get it all done in one day, but after this, we will finally be all caught up with laundry. I don't know what it is when you go out of town and you just come back and you just, I don't know, I feel like I have a ton of laundry to do every time I go out of town. So now we're getting into the cold winter months, at least here where I live. I don't know what it is, but January is always like the most depressing time of year for me. I just feel like it's so fun with the holidays and everything's great. And then, and it just abruptly ends and January gets here and it's cold and there's not a lot to do. The only good thing is though, we do like to go skiing and we're teaching the kids how to ski. My older two kids are actually really 
gotten really good at skiing. In fact, they're skiing even faster than I am. And I mean, which isn't saying much. I'm not trying to ski like super fast anymore, but I used to race and now I'm just like a lot more cautious and I'm teaching them to be cautious, but they like to go fast. And then my six year old, he's gone for about two years now, but he's still learning and he's doing really well. It's exciting to kind of see how the kids are progressing with their skiing and all of their lessons. I know a lot of people hate doing laundry, but as I was filming this and as I'm doing the voiceover now, I'm just realizing I don't actually hate it. I find it just like really easy to put the laundry into the washing machine and in the dryer. And then I love folding it when I'm like watching TV or doing something else. I feel like that's just an easy thing to do. And it's funny, every time I wash my clothes, I'm just like really happy to have a washer and dryer. I'm terrified that it could break one day. I mean, I'm sure it will break one day, but I don't know, it would just be really difficult if we didn't have it. So I'm definitely grateful that we do. Thanks so much for watching. It was great doing laundry with you guys and I will see you next time.